Well, hello and welcome back. We are continuing migrating our application over, and this time around, we are going to take the login page, basically. We're going to take our home page and spruce it up, as it were. Now, currently, if we go to our home page of just slash, it gives us just, hey, your server is running. Uh, so let's go here, and that's because of the REST controller. Uh, let's do, this is going to be, let's call this heartbeat now. Oh, let's see. I'm going to do heartbeat. We're going to call him heartbeat just because. And so now we've got that. If we go to our hello controller, we had before is we had a greet, but now what we're going to do is we're going to have a home page. This is going to be the, uh, let's call it home page. Why not? And for now, we're going to do very simple. We're going to just make our, we come in here and we're going to return, uh, we called him login before. So let's call, uh, let's call him home page now. And we're going to convert this thing over like we did last episode around. So if we go to login, we're going to rename him. We're going to call him homepage.html. Well, let's just call him home. Okay, so we have home HTML. This is where he's going to go. So let's see what this is going to look like. So we need to take a couple things. We're going to have to yank out our JSTL stuff. We're going to grab our header that we will just use from this guy here. And we'll need our time leaf designator. So we're going to come over to home. And there's our header. Let's jump down to the bottom. And that's going to be our footer. And let's start with that. I'm not exactly sure what all I've got going on here. So let's see what this looks like. So now if we run it, boom. So we actually have, although it's not doing real well, we do have somewhat of a homepage. Let's get this cleaned up a little bit. So what this used was a carousel, and I'm not sure if this carousel is going to work now. Let's see, do we have, oh, we're not bringing in, I don't think we have the carousel stuff being brought in. Uh, let's go look. Uh, we do have carousel. So we might be okay. I think this is uh oh. Okay, so let's go look at this a little bit. Do a little uh, background size cover. Let's see if we've got something messed up there. Uh, oh, there it is. That's what it is. So we have here, oh, this is our PNG. So let's see, do we have those brought in? So we've got some images that we were, we blew up. So if we look here, uh, screen forward up PNG. I don't think I see that. Oh, there it is. Okay. So this actually needs to be, now obviously some of this is stuff you aren't going to do, but if you're like me and you were using uh, a lot of the older you know, the older approaches to this, then you're going to get some things like this, where you're going to get extra code lines in that it doesn't like. And like we saw here, it just sort of blows up. It doesn't know what to do. Now, oh, we're getting better. Still got some stuff that's a little bit jacked up. Uh, now we're going to figure out why that is. If we go to my carousel, then let's see if 
Those all seem okay. It probably isn't getting, oh, there you go. Uh, looks like it's not getting those images. So let's go back here. This is where we're going to have to have a little bit of work because what we want to do now, this is because this is in a style, it's sort of a pain in the butt. However, let's see if we can get something. So let's try this. Let's try to just get an image first. Let's keep it simple. Um, and we will just put it right at the top here and let's just do screen one let's try image screen one dot png png is that where's that yeah img there so let's see what happens if we put that there troubleshoot this thing a little bit so now whoop, there we go and it is giving us an image so that image came through so here we go uh, let's try uh, I think here's where this is where a problem lies is it's double quotes versus single quotes whoop so we want that to be because we do want it to know that it's a URL it just needs to be there so when in doubt look at documentation for whoop, whatever it is you're doing for example here we're doing a style for background image so if I take that let's see what we got now we're seeing a bunch of images all stacked up. And so it is probably not bringing out the, it's probably not handling the carousel properly. So let's go look at a carousel. I wonder if Bootstrap 5 has a carousel built in. We might be able to use it that way. And if so, yes, it is. They have a carousel, so that is what we're going to jump into probably next time. Actually, let's look at this real quick. Uh, I don't know if this is with... Let's see what happens. So that's what we had. If we look at what it should be... Uh, if we've got a... Did we have a next? I don't know if we had a next before. If we had our little buttons, let's see. Did we? And look at yes we did so uh, that means what I can probably do is take this let's take that first one uh, where to go first slide label placeholder text image okay so let's see what does this look like whoop Oh, because it's an item active. Okay, so before we had each item. So we have an inner, there we go, the inner, and then we have an active. So active, uh, it's going to be like this, but we don't need active. We do need its style is still going to be this image. And then we want this to be, this is what, whoop, uh, yeah, carousel item. And then there's an image source. Oh, let's look at this. Uh, let's see. All right, let's do this. Let's see. So that's what he looked like. This is what he should look like now. Whoop. Let's do this. Uh, this is the image active. There we go. 
Let's do this. We're going to do actually. Let's take this first, and then we'll start replacing stuff. That's the easy way to do it. So let's put this at our top. Oh, see, they do have it. Uh, carousel slide container. There's a carousel. So if we look here, if we look at the indicators. They are probably a little different. Yep, so this is going to be data target, data BS target. It's just going to be this. And I do have a fourth. Zero, one, two, three. And he doesn't really need a label. Um, but let's give him one anyways. So there we go. So there's my indicators. And now what I want is I've got, let's take the text. is going to be in the caption area and let's pull that for each of these so we're going to come in here we're going to pull our text and pull that over and this one And then we're going to need to duplicate that item. And there we go. So let's pull that in so we can see a little bit. So now. do my source here let's change it to a straight up and let's see what happens let's see if this even works we may have a broken some broken HTML but it's maybe a quick way to get us whoop So now we have it, we've got some text, we do have some buttons, and we do have some slides. So, let's see, so what it comes down to here is, uh, let's take this, and that's going to be screen two. This is going to be screen three. It's going to be screen four. Oh, we need the previous and the next are going to be because they are my carousel. If we take this, let's take this crap and get rid of it. Like that. And now let's rebuild it. And maybe we have managed to add a carousel in here. And let's see how's that look. Now, we don't have, we need to darken it, because, uh, whoop, somewhere in here is, there we go. And then it just goes, so we need it to loop, 
is one of our things. And uh, let's see. Previous, next. Let's see. Can we make it? Let's go over here. So we can make it dark if we want, which is probably what we want. Uh, let's see. So it's going to be, and we want it to be let's see. What is it doing here? Oh, let's try that. Uh, I'm going to play around with this, so we probably aren't going to go too much further in this. Uh, let's see, this was on the uh, class carousel. Where is it at? Class carousel slide. Dark carousel, dark. And let's see what we got here. And then we'll... So there's a couple things we're going to need to do still on this is... Oh, well, here's the nice thing is it does give us, okay. Now, it ends up sliding all the way off, so we're going to have to work on that. But if you notice that the dark, it does now give us uh, dark text, which we probably don't need dark. What we actually want to do is we want to darken the images, which goes back to what we had before. If we go look at home, I think it was home. Oh, no, not home login. Is that this is what we needed? Is that we need to get that into the uh, item active? Let's see if that works. Let's just try that real quick. Okay, let's see what that looks like now. And it does not like that. So we're going to play around with that a little bit. Uh, let's go back to there. Okay. And we will see what we can do with this. Uh, see if we can do a little bit of work Whoop. and get these things cleaned up. But as you can see, we can pull stuff over. Uh, got a little bit of a uh, introduction to Bootstrap 5 because that's what we're moving into. We've shifted some stuff over. If we kept it, that would have been great. But these are kinds of things you have to deal with when you're migrating, updating an application. That being said, hope you enjoyed it. As always, shoot us emails at info at developpreneur.com or leave a comment and we will talk to you next time. So go out there and have yourself a great day, a great week, and then we will talk to you next time. Hello, this is Rob with Developpreneur, also known as Building Better Developers. Wanted to announce that we have school.developpreneur.com. Feel free to check it out if you like any of this information, any of the content that we've sent and you would like to see more. You can come out, you can enroll for free. We have free courses. We've got places for you to get better at just learning a technology or how-tos. You can work on your business skills. We can help you with becoming a better developer as in coding and things like that. A lot of the stuff you've seen on YouTube, we also have out at school.developpreneur. We just have it in a little more of a uh, educational format and a way for you to track your progress as you move forward becoming a better developer.